Okay. This is a new application from Epson, available in uh, mid-June, and it's called Epson iPrint. It will be available on um, iTunes on the uh, Apple App Store. Uh, it will be a free download, and it allows you to print from your iOS device, not just iPads, um, to your Epson printer, Epson Wi-Fi printer. So you can print photos and documents. It can connect to online storage, such as Dropbox, for example. You can print web pages, and you can also scan from your device to your your tablet, your iOS device. Mm -hmm. You can also do some basic management. So you can see on this screen here, you have ink levels. You can also do some basic maintenance, such as head cleaning and nozzle checks, mm -hmm. all within the application. Okay, so this is the main screen. We can print photos and documents. We're going to choose a document here. We have a, a sample, and there's our document. And we have a few uh, options here, as you would have in a driver on a, a PC. So first of all, you can choose the printer. So if you've got more than one printer on your network, you can select one. You can select paper size, media type. So if you want to print a photo on photo paper, you put, uh, choose the photo paper. Um, you can play with the print quality and you've got a few advanced settings here. So brightness, contrast, saturation, they're all um, editable within the application. And you can even go as far as to um, tell it to print in monochrome instead of color. So if I just go back to the document, hit print and it's now spooling it to the printer. The printer is now receiving it, and that product, that uh, document, will now be printed. Mm -hmm. Can you actually do other functions while it's printing, so we can? Yeah, I should go back now. So it's one page to print. So <laughs> now I'm going to go through the scanning demonstration. So we'll click on this. As you can see, the uh, the user interface is pretty much the same as the uh, printing. So as soon as the print is finished. I can tell it to scan. So what I'm going to do now is a preview scan, effectively. So whilst that's going through, you see on both of these corners there's a, a darker corner, effectively. And what you can do with this application is you can crop the area that you want to scan. So we've effectively just done a preview scan, so let's just move that to there. And you've got a few more options um, for the scanning. So you can change it to a black and white image, you can change resolution and you've got a couple of um, colour management settings as well. Mm -hmm. Go back to the document, hit scan. Whilst that's scanning, we've got three buttons here which give you the options for what you want to do with your scan. Mm -hmm. You can print it, mail it or save it. I'm going to choose save onto my local folder. And you can see here it's given it a default file name, file name of Epson 69 you can change that. So you can pick a file name that suits you. Mm -hmm. You can choose between PDF and JPEG. There you go, you see the tick mark. And it will tell you how large the scan will be. I hit save. And then go back to the main screen. So there we are. Main screen, into documents, mm -hmm. Epson iPrint, and I scroll down. There's Epson 69, and there's your printout. Oh, your scan, sorry. Excellent. And is this interface going to be the same on the Android app? Uh, I'm not sure to be honest. I haven't seen the Android app yet okay. because that's been delayed. So that's not available until next month. Okay, but this one's coming. I would expect it to be very similar, yeah. honestly. And this will be co um, compa compatible with all the Wi Fi? Yeah, this is, this is compatible with the uh, historic models. Mm -hmm. So Epson Wi Fi. Excellent. Thank you. Okay.